Hi, it's Mark from Training Spark here, and we're taking a very early look at version 4.0 of Learn-LMS, which we understand will be due for release in early 2022. And what we have installed on our platform here is version 4.0 beta 1. And we're just going to talk you through some of the new features as we've found them. So we're no experts on this, uh, and we're learning as we're going along here, but we thought it'd be useful for some of you to see these new features um, in advance. And what we understand is that one of the new big features in Learn-4.0 is a sense of dynamic learning paths. And what this means is that learners wouldn't necessarily have a prescribed route of courses that could go that they can go on in your platform. They might be able to skip courses and go to different ones and carve out their own learning path that's unique to them. And what it introduces is this sense of challenge exams. And what it says here is challenge exams are a great way to check if your learners are understanding the course content and allow them to skip courses they already know. So what you would find is that if you create a challenge exam, you can attach it to a course. When they first start the course, they'll be given a set of questions in this challenge exam. And if they pass them, they could potentially skip this course or another course, and it would help them to understand which courses are already too easy for them and potentially steer them in the direction of ones that would be a better fit for them. So let's have a quick look at creating one of these. And I'll add that we're kind of figuring things out as we go along here. There isn't at the, at the time of creation here much documentation on this. So we're kind of making things up as we go along in, a, in some respect. So I'm going to click here on add your first challenge exam. And we'll try and talk you through some of the settings as we see them. So the first thing we notice here is that the question builder for challenge exams is actually in the, the Gutenberg editor. And what it says here is to give the challenge exam a title. So I'll just say example challenge exam. And we can fill in some of the fields here. So question, add a description. Um, so I'll say maybe here, what color is the learn dash logo as, as the question we can give it a description um, and we can add some answers here so I'll, I'll base this off a multiple choice question and i'll say blue and yellow i think that's the right answer um and we'll say red and green and orange and purple as the options here and we're setting the correct answer here as blue and yellow now it's interesting to see this i'll be honest i'm not a massive fan of the gutenberg editor but it feels like they've made this fairly intuitive in terms of how you can create these uh, questions here within this these gutenberg blocks we can add a correct answer message here so we'll say well done that's right and we'll say, oh no, that's incorrect. And what we would potentially be able to do here is add more questions to this. Um, so it's just it's a case of adding new blocks or sections to this. So I'm just going to remove that question and just have this one for now. So we've got one question and if you pass it, it will mark the course as complete or if you don't, it will just let you continue in the course as normal. So if we head over to the settings section here, what we can do is say whether this applies to new enrollees only. So what this means is that it would only apply to people who have not already started the course. So if someone's mid course and you created this challenge exam uh, and had this set to new enrollees only, They'd be able to carry on as, as normal. There's only people who were starting for the very first time that would actually see this challenge, ex challenge exam. So I would assume in most cases you would want this set to yes or enabled. You set the course that you want this challenge exam to show on. So say select the course you want it to display on. 
I'm just going to choose one of the courses I have here within my demo platform. So I've got this um, Seek Health and Yoga with Sandha um, course on here. And you can set what course you want it to mark as complete when they pass, if, if they pass their exam. So the normal thing you might want to do is say, as a challenge exam, this is the first thing you see when you access this Seek Health with Yoga Sandha course. And if you pass it, then it marks the whole course as complete and you can carry on. But you do have the option to mark a, a, an adjacent course as complete. So you could mark a completely separate course, like this one, for example, as complete um, if they um, completed it. So maybe it's a better way of showing it here. So you could have a challenge exam on this course here, Healthy Eating for Healthy Life. But when you pass it, it marks this one as complete, you know, this, as a completely different course. Or alternatively, you could just mark this one as complete. So what I'll do is make it so that the challenge exam appears on this Healthy Eating for Healthy Life course. And also, if you pass it, it just marks this one as complete. So you can completely skip it. So I'm just going to choose the same course as, as what I set it to appear on. Um, let me just... Um, uh, we're going to put it onto this course here. Seek health with yoga sadhana, and we'll make it so that once you pass it, it also marks the whole course as passed. And we've got a few options for this um, when you actually pass it. So we'll say here maybe, well done. You can skip this course and move on to the next. And you can set a URL. And so this will, it says the URL will re redirect the user when clicking on it after passing the challenge exam. So perhaps for the sake of this demonstration, we will link them to a different course. So I'll just copy the link for this other one. And what the logic here is that you do the challenge exam on this course, it passes it, and therefore marks this course as complete and you might want to go to this course instead because this won't be more suitable. And we've got the option for a message if you pass the challenge. Uh, message shown when the user passes the challenge exam. Interestingly, I, I can't actually click into this um, box here. I can't type anything. So if I switch to the text option, um, I mean, like this is we're on a, a beta version so it's understandable that there might be some bugs here um, and i'll say yeah well done that's great um and what we've got is the same options if you fail the, the challenge exam and that i'll say here unlucky please continue the course and we can link to perhaps the, the course itself. Um, so we'll copy the link here and say, if you fail the challenge exam, you would just access this course as normal and you wouldn't skip it and go into a different one. So I'll just paste in the URL of the course there. If you're just thinking, uh, you know, our own opinion here, it might be great if you could linked to other courses rather than pasting in a, a fixed URL here. Um, but I understand why they might want to keep this open to link to other places on your website. Um, so if there was an option to, to choose other courses that you link to, then that sort of feels like it would make more sense. And again, what we've got here is another box that doesn't seem to work, but we're on a beta, so we won't worry too much about that. And we'll say um, something like, Oh no, you haven't passed, but here's a course for you to try. And we'll publish that. And we've now created our co uh, challenge exam. So let's have a look at what this appears as. 
I'm logged in in a different tab here as a learner who has access to this Seek Health with Yoga Sadhana course. And I'm going to click See More to access it. And here we go. We see this challenge exam. So it's called Example Challenge Exam because that's what I set it as. And I'm going to choose Start Challenge Exam. And it says it's got a number of questions here. Uh, we've only created one. And what I'm going to do is get this correct so you can see that it marks this whole course as complete just from this first exam. So there would be no expectation for me that to then go on and access it um, and, and complete it in a traditional way. So I'm going to choose the correct answer and say blue and yellow, submit it. And it says, well done, you can skip the course and move on to the next. And this link actually links to a different course. So this goes to the, the course that you might be more suitable for um, and you know this is the the link i just put in in the previous screen but if i head back to the all courses page what you'd see is that this whole course is marked as complete just because i passed that challenge exam at the start so i can still access this course now i can go on and you know complete the material or view the materials but it's already marked as complete just because of that challenge exam. And if I was to fail that challenge exam, what I would find is that I can just access that course in a normal way. So it wouldn't mark that course as complete. I can just go on to it and access it as normal. So we hope you find this useful and uh, we're certainly looking forward to these these new features. I think they'll be uh, you know great for anyone who wants to really tailor their course platform to specific learners and you know do, deliver their training in a, in a more intelligent way and um, if you like this video please give it a like and if you want to see more videos like this please subscribe to the train spark youtube channel